Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my second audio of yoga at home. Let me tell you what props you need. Keep them handy. Place your mat vertically against a wall or cupboard. You need a chair, dining chair, stool. Keep it in front of your mat on the ground about three feet away. One strap or belt or a long scarf always useful an extra towel or a sheet if you need it for your knees when you go on the knees if you have all that let's begin sit on your mat in cross leg release and spread your buttock skin right and left feel your sit bones Press your fingertips, cup shape, next to your thighs on the ground. Fingers facing forward towards your knees. Look straight ahead in eye level. With your eyes open, take a first few breaths. Pressing your fingertips. Lift your frontal body upwards, tall. And move the back body down. So slightly giving a pressure on your fingertips, lift yourself lighter off the ground. As you inhale, lift up the frontal body, maintaining that exhale. As you inhale, vertebra by vertebra, lift your spine upwards, move the shoulders back and down, exhale. Now slowly release your palms, keep them on your knees, facing the ceiling, join your thumb and pointer, which we call Dhyana Mudra, for chanting Om now, close your eyes, just be there for a few breaths with your eyes closed. Breath by breath, move inwards. As they say nowadays, if you can't go outside, move within. Soften your entire body from your head to your toes. Relax your eyebrows, eyelids, jaws, neck forehead, throat, shoulders, ascending with your inhalation, maintaining that, exhaling, more and more, few longer exhalations, get ready for five ohms, we'll chant together, inhale, Om. Om. Keeping your eyes closed, just bend forward in cross leg. Adho Mukha Swastikasan. Spread your hands wide, mat width. Extend your arms forward. Let go with your shoulders, your neck. 
ब्रॉड इन वाइड एंड स्प्रेड एक्सटेंड विद योर इनहलेशन एक्सलेशन टू गो डाउन डीप इन हेल एंड एक्सटेंड स्प्रेड एनर्जाइज एक्सहेल नेवल टू द स्पाइन गो डाउन डीपर लोअर लॉन्गर soft inhalations slow soft longer exhalations preparing your body breath and mind for the practice to follow with your longer exhalations release whatever conditions you started your class with disintegrate your external conditions so that you can integrate within slowly open your eyes come up come on your hands and knees to cat keep your palms at the beginning of your mat so to keep your palms like you would start for down dog see that your knees are not too far from each other look at your palms are they shoulder width look at each finger stretch the skin of your palms extend the fingers more and more and press the entire palm open the pointer and thumbs wider thumbs should start facing each other lock your elbows and look at your elbow eyes or the inner crease it should look at each other move the elbow bone in to you towards each other inhale raise your head up in cat extend your spine forward and exhale and round the back arms locked straight and strong navel to the spine with your exhalation inhale go forward extend and exhale bring it all in suction at your navel pelvic abdominal region four five times keep moving inhale and up and extend exhale more and more and more suction action at your navel and lift your back and shoulder blades to the ceiling inhale extend arms locked strong exhale and round like a cat inhale and extend extend expand exhale and round the back squeeze your navel up to the ceiling now look straight be there from here we are going to plank take your right leg straight back behind you touch your toe on the ground tighten straight and lock the right foot curl the toes towards you and extend your heel out and then extend your left leg back lift your body strong sharp and curl both your toes towards you and be in a strong plank feet slightly apart look at your palm shoulder wrist elbow should be in one line tighten your abs tighten your thighs squeeze the knee cap upwards squeeze your navel up thighs up breathe touch your knees and then we are going to a push up slow push up lie down stay in lying down forehead down take your palms back few inches towards the ribs towards your waistline and urdhva mukha svanasan up dog thighs up from the ground shoulders roll back lift your chest up and forward touch your knees back to cat after one or two rounds you will know how to adjust your distance between your palms and knees stretch your right leg out to plank stretch your left leg out to plank be in a strong sharp plank so this is your distance now don't move your palms or feet cat to plank this is your distance breathe lock your elbows squeeze the body higher up touch your knees 
इनहेल एक्सहेल पुशअप इनहेल अप डॉग एक्सहेल गो टू कैट राइट लेग एक्सटेंड टू प्लैंग लिफ्ट द थाय अप लेफ्ट लेग टू प्लैंग थाइज अप एंड फर्म फोर काउंट होल्ड द प्लैंग वन टू थ्री फोर टच योर नीज एल्बोज टू वर्ड्स योर बैक पुश अप लाई डाउन टेक योर पाम्स टू वर्ड्स योर वेस्ट ईच टाइम एंड लिफ्ट योर टॉल अप डॉग लिफ्ट योर चेस्ट रोल द शोल्डर्स बैक बैक टू कैट एंड बैक टू प्लैंक राइट लेग लेफ्ट लेग एक्सटेंड Keep your body tight and firm away from the ground. Suction at your navel. Three and four. Touch your knees. Push up. Chest goes forward. Hands go towards the waist. Urdhva Mukha Swanasana. Up dog. And this time go to down dog. Stay in down dog. Stay in down dog. Take a few breaths. Keep a lifting action in down dog. Lift the root of your thighs higher. Push the mat with your palms. Move your chest towards your thighs. So this time we are going from down dog to cat, cat to plank to push up and up dog. to cat right leg back to plank left leg back to plank hold the plank 1 2 3 4 touch your knees push up and up dog hold 1 2 3 4 back to down dog hold 1 2 3 4 back to cat extend your right leg to plank left leg to plank hold 1 2 3 feel free to do full push up or any push up and urdhva mukha svanasana up dog 1 2 3 4 down dog two more rounds from down dog you can roll to plank now hold it 2 3 and 4 slow push up full push up or knee push up and up dog raise your body higher and taller 1 2 3 4 down dog again last one full plank slow push up move forward planks towards your waist and up dog 3 and 4 down dog 1 2 3 4 touch your knees rest in child's pose so be in child's pose rest And then slowly come to down dog let's go to the full flow stay in down dog look between your palms walk your right leg forward walk your left leg forward uttanasan feet together you can bend your knees if you want drop your head in forward fold be there urdhva hastasana arms up stretch up stand tall legs together knees together thighs together urdhva hastasana arms up shoulders down legs straight look straight in eye level ascend your body tall and grip your legs tadasan hands by your thighs if you have any shoulder wrist back issues skip the plank and full push up you can just be in cat and inhale and exhale 
so you judge your situation don't do the push ups up dogs just be in cat do not force skip the flow maybe it's not for you today let's start the flow inhale arms up exhale down walk one one leg back to plank take the right leg back left leg back and hold the plank abs tight thighs tight your palms shouldn't be ahead of the shoulders now touch your knees and push up or no knees move forward for up dog raise the body up chest up shoulders down thighs up back to down dog look between your palms walk or jump uttanasan forward fold urdhvastasan arms up tadasan stand straight hands by your sides arms up uttanasan hands down jump back to plank slow push up knee push up full push up urdha mukha svanasan up dog down dog walk or jump uttanasan forward fold arms up urdha svanasan stand straight tadasan hands by your side two more hang in there with a little change urdhastasan uttanasan plank adjust your distance well in plank hold it this time you're going to roll for a side plank on your right palm turn your toes horizontal flat and roll on your right palm lift your right thigh up right hip up right waist up and raise your left hand to the ceiling come back to center and roll to the left raise your body higher and higher raise your right hand up from the left ankle calf knee thigh hip waist lift up lift up lift up right hand lift plank in the center push up up dog back to down dog look between your palms jump uttanasan arms up and stand straight last one inhale arms up exhale forward fold jump to plank hold the plank roll on the right hand to right side plank lift your body higher and higher and higher come to the center roll on to your left palm left side lift up higher center plank and push up up dog and down dog stay in down dog breathe you can touch the wall take your heels back lift your heels on the wall in down dog stay there for a few breaths walk forward little bit spread your legs mat distance we are in uttanasan forward fold roll your toes in heels out right foot touching the right edge of the mat left foot touching the left edge of the mat align your feet look at your feet drop your head breathe So we are resting in Uttanasan, forward fold. Breathe. Now come to standing. The feet remain as they are. Clasp your fingers behind the back. Right finger out. Stand straight and tall. Lock your elbows. Roll your shoulders back. Lift your chest up. Create the traction at the shoulders. Now if you are tight at your shoulders use a belt or a scarf and hold it between your palms behind so hands are behind the hips now holding the strap or clasping the fingers inhale to lift up tall as you exhale go forward to forward fold 
bend forward lift the arms and shoulders up to the ceiling bend forward further and then take your hands over the head now keep your knees slightly bent that will help you further roll down and roll your hands forward over the head lie on your thighs with your tummy press your feet well ten toes open drop the head bend your knees and roll forward towards your toes and drop further down and then come up change the interlocking or continue holding a strap inhalation lift and exhale go forward with your knees slightly soft or bent hands up to the ceiling forward fold knees bend to drop down further and drop your body forward towards your toes and hands over the head roll the hips forward and up to the ceiling maintaining that tummy on your thighs chest closer to your thighs straight in your legs straight in your legs go down deeper and come up stand straight release your hands feet together we are moving to standing poses now with the help of the wall and the chair bring your chair on your mat slightly on the front edge of the mat stand facing the chair move back so your left heel is touching the wall foot is 45 degrees and right leg is forward facing the chair now adjust your distance and adjust the chair so your palms are on the chair right leg is forward left heel is to the wall left foot 45 degrees palms on the chair we are going to parshva uttanasan press your right foot right big toe specially push your left heel into the wall and raise your hands up stand straight and tall do not cross your legs let your right foot be little bit to the right press your right inner foot inner heel and big toe that gives you a stability in your posture lift your arms higher and become taller as you stay there start aligning your pelvis left pelvis left hip root of the thigh roll forward right pelvis roll back right root of the thigh move back so right leg longer and back now feel the right hip left hip align lift your right hip higher and back lift up taller with your exhalation align keep turning the pelvis from left to right big inhale lift your arms higher up now raise your eyes up and look at the ceiling throw your head back look up higher look up higher look at the ceiling and feel how that weight is shifting to the back leg curve your hands further back behind the ears now look straight take your hands forward and down on the chair or go down towards the legs of the chair so go little lower or reach the ground with your palms parshva uttanasan drop your head be there now that many of us don't keep bricks or blocks at home chair is a good prop to use to get support start aligning your hips your pelvis with every exhalation roll the navel from left to right so feel how pushing the left heel will help you roll and move your right thigh long and back right hip push back straighten your knees sharp and press your right big toe press your right big toe 
as we are going to go to a balancing pose the right big toe or the front big toes are very important in balancing roll that right foot inwards raise your hands up now without losing balance join your legs tadasan palms on the chair right leg take it back touch the wall left foot is facing the chair palms on the chair start aligning your pelvis with the support back heel pushing the wall left big toe pounding into the ground roll your left foot inwards feel that alignment right hip left hip right pelvis left pelvis align you have to extend and elongate the left outer leg completely towards the wall move the left thigh up and back very deep stretch to your left leg now exhale completely with an inhalation push your back heel to raise your hands up and stand straight look straight ahead lift yourself taller and taller and taller again roll your pelvis from right to left right to left to deepen the pose and to shift your weight to the back leg start looking up towards the ceiling look up higher and higher to the ceiling and take your hands behind the ears and feel that back leg sharpness curve the back look up and back look up and back now look straight inhalation to extend and then go forward as you exhale take your palms slowly down either on the chair on the legs of the chair or on the ground do not bend your knees and maintain the alignment parshva uttanasan is uttanasan version so knees have to be straighter and straighter so use your prop sharpen that left knee squeeze your left knee cap up and move the left thigh muscle to the bone make that left leg compact sharp and longer and longer and we need this compactness sharpness for balancing without losing balance push your back leg to raise your hands up higher taller and release join your legs tadasan feet together knees together tadasan next round in the same pose we're going to clasp the fingers behind or use your strap with your arms behind and the other option is to do paschima namaskar so join your palms together so let's everybody join the palms together and if you cannot do paschima namaskar hold your elbows behind the back so let's make it more challenging either a namaste behind your back or holding your elbows behind on your back so you have your chair in front of you to rest your forehead if you want or remove your chair to go deeper down so now stand tall left leg back right leg forward touch your back heel to the wall like earlier adjust your distance stand straight and tall 
विद्यो पश्चिम नमस्कार और बद्ध हस्तासन रोल योर शोल्डर्स बैक लिफ्ट योर चेस्ट आप ओपन योर चेस्ट इनहलेशन एंड एक्सलेशन सी दैट योर पाम्स रिमेन जॉइंड योर रिस्ट रिमेन जॉइंड इन पश्चिम नमस्कार इनहलेशन टू लिफ्ट आप एक्सेल गो फॉरवर्ड स्लोली विद द पुश ऑफ योर बैक लेग slowly start going forward and down forward and down and feel how the push of the wall is helping you move your right hip back press your palms tighter grip your elbows tighter and extend your tummy forward and down over the thigh those who are going deeper down roll your pelvis from left to right press your right big toe and rib by rib by rib move forward and down with your frontal body without losing balance slowly coming up join your legs release your hands tadasan but the hastasan people change the interlocking alternate the palms to elbow back to paschima namaskar the others left leg forward and right leg touch it back to the wall stand tall pressing your palms well against each other left leg forward right leg back get ready for parshva uttanasan turn your pelvis turn your belly turn your waist turn your chest from right to left press your left big toe roll your left foot inwards inhale lift up as you exhale left hip back right hip roll forward go down shoulders rolling back chest forward and ahead as you go down press your palms against each other tighter go down and extend your frontal body over the left thigh right thigh rolls forward left hip push back slightly bend your left knee go down deeper slightly bending your left knee go further down focus your eyes at one spot on the ground and that will help you balance drop further down further down and feel the push of the back leg to keep you steady slowly come up stand straight join your legs release your hands keep your chair ahead of your mat we are going to practice warrior 3 and we are going to use the palms on the chair so keep your chair a little ahead join your legs press your palms on the seat of the chair keep your feet away from the chair about 2 feet like a standing cat so we are going to warrior 3 or one leg uttanasan supported warrior 3 so palms on the chair and raise your left leg up few inches at a time so that you don't miss align your hips and raise your left leg higher inch by inch aligning so your palms are on the chair feet are away two feet away from the chair one legged uttanasan left foot facing the floor raise your left thigh higher and higher align your hips raise your head up chin up and raise your left leg higher right hip right thigh push back raise your left leg move the right hip back raise your left leg and release change right leg up inch at a time aligning the hips right thigh has to roll from in to out the back of the thigh rolls from in to out so then your right pelvis will roll down squeeze your right thigh and hip to lift it up don't raise the thigh higher up by turning your body align your hips lift the thigh up 
squeeze the thigh lift up raise your head up chin up look ahead extend your body forward extend your leg back and up left thigh push back left thigh push back strongly and raise your body higher raise your right leg higher 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 release stand straight tadasan keep your chair away from you out of your mat stand in tadasan this time we are going to balancing from one pose to the other we don't need our chair so keep it away go somewhere towards the center of your mat so now we are going from warrior 1 to warrior 3 for warrior 1 right leg is forward left heel is touching the wall so that gives you a better understanding of the back leg so left heel in the wall left foot 45 degrees right leg forward hands on your hips stand straight stand tall keep big distance between your feet palms on your hips elbows rolling back towards each other again in warrior 1 should not miss align your hips and become heavy on your right foot you have to shift your weight to your back leg So when your hands are on your hips, it will give you some sensation of the alignment. With an inhalation, become tall. Hands on the hips. As you exhale, push your back leg into the wall and bend your front leg. Bend your right knee. Back leg push. Align your hips. Crawl your right foot slightly forward to adjust your distance more, so you can bend your right knee further. Back leg push. straight and sharp and front knee bend open all the ten toes press your right big toe inwards bend your knee deeper go down let your thigh go parallel to the ground go down more go down more and be there raise your chest up become tall go deeper with your thigh parallel to the ground raise your hands up tall warrior 1 lift your body higher and higher and higher with your inhalation push the wall as you exhale and bend your knee deeper sit on the right thigh sit deeper on the right thigh one more time sit deepest down down come up and change left leg forward right leg back 45 degrees touch the wall with your heel hands on your hips elbows towards each other armpit chest lift shoulders down both legs straight for now left leg forward right leg back inhale and lift all exhale pushing the wall bend your knee so find out what action the back leg is having because of the wall Work deeper and deeper in the pose. Bend your knee deeper. Look at your left foot. Is your foot falling out? Roll the left foot inwards. Open the ten toes. Extend your toes. Look at the knee. It should face your toes, not fall out, fall in. And look at your thigh. Is it going deeper down, parallel to the ground? go down now look straight ahead raise your hands up so lift up with your arms push the back leg and sit deeper with your exhalation inhalation to lift up exhale go down deeper roll your pelvis from right to left go down deeper one sit on your front thigh two go down deeper on the front thigh three maximum release stand straight tadasan breathe
this time from warrior 1 to warrior 3 right leg forward left leg back first round touch the wall back heel to the wall hands on the waist align your pelvis align your hips increase your distance more and more raise your hands up as you inhale exhale bend your front knee warrior one push the back leg straight or sharper bend your front knee deeper observe your right foot right knee thigh how low has it gone look down find out and then look straight ahead if you want to go down more you have to increase your distance now to challenge the pose start looking up raise your eyes up head up and take your arms behind the ears behind the ears curve the back and look at the back wall bend your knee deeper stay there stay there lift your to self taller and sit on the front thigh now look straight lie on your front thigh so we are going to warrior three now extend your chin forward extend your arms more and more raise your chin up raise your chest up and arms up in line with your ears still in warrior one front knee bend back leg down extend your body more and then when you go to warrior three do not raise your body higher from the ground hands should be in line with your ears and head in line with your hands slowly shift your weight to warrior three balance if you cannot do it you can take support of the chair and take your palms on the chair otherwise be there extend your hands forward eyes up chin up slightly back leg for up higher focus balance even if the knees are soft doesn't matter balance release stand straight feet together tadasan if you notice the whole pose is in your front big toe and that is why I keep on telling you about the front big toe right from Pashottanasan to warrior one so please do not lose connect to that otherwise the balance will become too challenging front knee can be bent or straight for the next warrior three but learn to focus on that front big toe focusing and back leg raising higher even if your front knee is bent now left leg forward right leg touch the wall get ready for warrior one back leg 45 degrees raise your hands up stand straight turn your pelvis from right to left inhale lift up exhale bend your knee to warrior one lift your torso higher back leg push to bend your front knee increase your distance sit deeper on the front knee two three times push the back leg tighten your back leg push the wall go down deeper and now look up at the ceiling challenge yourself take your arms behind the ears and feel what is happening to the back leg sense arms up and behind the ears curve the back further arch back breathe go deeper curve the back look up and back further now look straight we'll still be in warrior one lie on your thigh bend your front knee lie on your left thigh chest and navel on the thigh extend your frontal body arms up and long in line with the ears look straight ahead towards the chair lift your chest up arms in line with the ears now look at your big toe Shh. 
look at your left toe shift your weight to your left toe and slowly go to warrior three look straight ahead hands above the ears front foot roll towards your thumb ground and pound your big toe of the left foot knee can be soft and back leg lift up back leg lift up breathe and stay there back leg push back body extend forward leg push back lift higher release tadasan inhale and exhale good work class too good well i did say it's going to be a challenging class but i still gave you a chair those who couldn't manage so be happy bring your chair now closer to you feet apart and we are resting in uttanasan forward fold keep your forearms on the chair bend your elbows rest your forehead on your forearms observe your toes once more even if you are resting your practice should make your toes straight and roll your toes in heels out if you do not build this in your practice it does not come in every pose especially standing poses drop your head rest your head on the chair on the hands rest few more breaths be there yes this is a one hour class so we have exactly about 20 minutes to go so it's a good time to go to handstands and then shirshasan for those who practice do two rounds of handstand at the wall right leg left leg many of you practice that at home so continue after two rounds of handstand shirshasan or directly go to shirshasan we want to stay longer in shirshasan at least 5 minutes so find a wall if you're not confident of staying in the center and those who come down faster will again go up till 5 minutes are up others be in uttanasan others you're going to lie on the mat chair is on the mat so we are going to go to bridge pose in two or three versions one is the bridge pose with feet on the ground with bent legs lifting your hips and the other one will be feet will be on the chair for your chatushpadasan so now just lie down chair is on the mat you are lying flat on the mat away from the chair knees are bent shirshasan people be there work harder in the pose shirshasan people in shirshasan press your arms forearms wrist and lift higher and higher and higher people on the mat get ready to bridge for bridge pose to lift your hips up legs are bent feet are parallel hip distance apart and lift your hips up bridge pose people look at your chest and bring your chest higher bring your hips higher press your feet firmly on the ground and lift up everybody exhale more and more and more shirshasan lifting stronger higher sharper with exhalations navel to the spine bridge pose navel to the spine squeezing your hips higher with your inhalation lifting your chest up exhalation tucking your tummy hips higher 
ब्रिज पीपल कम डाउन शीर्षासन फोकस ऑन योर रिस्ट फॉर नेक्स्ट फ्यू ब्रेथ्स प्रेस एंड पाउंड योर रिस्ट इन टू द ग्राउंड टू लिफ्ट हायर एंड एक्सहेल मोर एंड मोर सक्शन एक्शन एट योर नेवल एंड स्क्वीज योर बटक्स फॉरवर्ड नेवल इन टू रेज योर बॉडी हायर एंड शार्पर ब्रिज पोज दिस टाइम होल्ड योर मैट फ्रॉम द साइड्स और टेक योर स्ट्रैप और स्काफ अराउंड योर एंकल्स होल्ड इट और जस्ट होल्ड योर मैट सो रिड्यूस योर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन योर शोल्डर्स एंड योर हील्स टू मेक अ टॉलर ब्रिज एंड नॉट अ फ्लैट ब्रिज एंड नाउ लिफ्ट योर बॉडी अप टू ब्रिज पोज either hold your ankles if you can or hold that scarf or belt and lift higher and higher every inhalation look at your chest lift your chest to the chin exhalation navel to the spine lift your hips higher everybody work with your breath now the shirshasan people focus on the forearm bone to press your forearm bone into the ground roll the form forearms inwards and raise your shoulders up press your forearm more and lift your shoulders up lift your shoulders up and exhale suction action try to leave the wall and two more minutes shirshasan try to leave one leg both legs alternate practice chatushpadasan down take your feet on the chair bridge pose people hold the legs of the chair which are close to you the front legs of the chair those who do not understand you may rest or if you have done it before you will understand hold the front legs of the chair feet are on the chair hips are on the ground grip the chair legs do not leave the chair lift your hips up hold the chair tighter press your feet flat on the chair holding the chair raise your hips up 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 to the ceiling eyes to the chest and bring your chest towards the chin and raise your hips higher up to the ceiling gripping the chair roll your shoulders back and down lift your chest up keep working in the pose with your breath both groups work harder in the pose shirshasan one more minute now pressing your elbows to lift up keep the focus on the elbow bone lift higher and leave the wall try to leave the wall you have to make your legs compact and grip your legs together in shirshasan thigh muscle moving to the bone be there last few seconds everybody everybody lift higher in your pose now slowly come down shirshasan and bridge pose chatushpadasan hips on the ground rest shirshasan rest in child's pose chatushpad asan we are going to do one more attempt all of us are going to do it together shirshasan people come back to your mat we don't need the wall put your chair on the mat anywhere we don't need the wall lie down in front of your chair get ready for chatushpad asan so you are like bent like shavasan now hold the legs of the chair we are going to chair sir chatushpadasan and then going to sarvangasan only those people who have no neck shoulder issues you will just do chatushpadasan if you have any issues now hold the front legs of the chair press your feet on the chair and lift your hips up chatushpadasan 
come closer to the chair grip the chair tight roll your shoulders lift your chest towards the chin and raise the hips higher and higher and higher to the ceiling and chest to the chin move your tailbone in to you open the pelvis lift higher lift higher exhale more and more suction action inhalation bring the chest up bring the hips up work with your breath work with your breath inhalation lift your chest towards the chin eyes open to the chest bring the chest up exhale move your tailbone into you open the pelvis those who want to progress to sarvangasan we don't have any extra mats or padding so if you have wrist shoulder issues neck issues please do not do this stay in chatushpadasan those who are going ahead take your palms on your back on your ribs like sarvangasan roll your elbows in towards each other and take your palms more and more towards your shoulders left elbow in to the center line right elbow in to the center line lift your body up and up and then kick one one leg up and jump to sarvangasan both legs up to the ceiling elbows in closer to each other look at your chest bring your chest forward towards you move your buttocks forward back body forward to take your thighs back lift your body higher to take your thighs back buttocks forward thighs back buttocks forward and lift your body higher so though it's called shoulder stand you have to become lighter on the shoulders and that will happen if you work harder with your legs so how are your legs in pasha uttanasan in warrior 3 bring those legs here in action and that is why standing poses are very important now chatushpadasan people come down rest in bent leg shavasan legs on the chair calves on the chair rest sarvangasan people lift higher and higher so sarvangasan people you're going to take your leg back once more so right leg take it back bend your knee and touch the chair like chatushpadasan left leg higher up lift your body up and bring your right leg up sarvangasan back to sarvangasan lift higher adjust your sarvangasan buttocks forward thighs back if your hips don't come forward back body doesn't move forward there'll be more pressure on the wrist as you take your leg to the chair now take your left leg toe on the chair like chatushpadasan and lift your right thigh up and back both legs up sarvangasan back ribs move into you lift your chest forward now one one leg back on the chair release your hands release your hips down and rest in bent leg shavasan knees are touching the chair let go spread your hands wide take support for your neck cover your eyes if you want take a towel or an roll your mat for extra padding under your neck and just be there in bent leg shavasan and completely let go completely let go just sink towards mother earth with every exhalation receive your inhalations with gratitude and let go with your exhalations and 
relax Just feel your breath soft and relaxed. That will help you further become restful. And as your body, your breath relax, your mind will relax. See that you're not gripping, hardening, tightening anything from your head to your toes. Relax, release your forehead skin. Release, relax your eyebrows, eyelids, eyes, cheeks, jaws. Rest your tongue in the lower palate. Relax your throat, your neck, your shoulders. Completely let go. Just a minute more, rest in Shavasan.
Now slowly start coming out of your Shavasan. Open your eyes. Hug your knees to your chest. Roll on to your right side. Slowly keep your right palm under your face or head. Left palm on the ground. Pressing your left palm. Slowly come up. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. Stay happy, stay healthy.